Black holes are the stuff of nightmares. Mysterious, dark regions in space that send shivers down our spines. They possess an incredible force of gravity, pulling everything around them into an endless abyss. If you accidentally get close to a black hole, there's no turning back. The gravitational pull becomes overwhelming, dragging you in like a puppet on strings. As you plunge deeper, the darkness grows and all light seems to vanish, leaving you in a void of utter blackness. Your sense of direction and time disintegrates, making it impossible to distinguish up from down, past from present. But what if our planet comes in the path of a moving black hole? Chaos, destruction, or something beyond our wildest imagination? Let's find out. Imagine traveling to the heart of our galaxy, 26,000 light years away. From this vantage point, you would witness millions of stars, and on the horizon, a peculiar dark sphere rising, the black hole. This enigmatic object is so dense that nothing, not even light, can escape its gravitational pull. Despite its enormous size, it's just one of many scattered throughout the universe. But how did these black holes form? And how did they grow to such colossal sizes? By studying them, scientists are unraveling the forces that shape stars, planets, and even life itself. However, observing black holes is a challenge since they elude detection. Thankfully, the universe occasionally grants us glimpses into its most mysterious workings. In 2008, astronomers received an alert about a gamma-ray burst from an orbiting observatory named SWIFT. This event, occurring halfway across the visible universe, most likely marked the birth of a black hole. It resulted from the violent implosion of a massive star's core, where nuclear fusion had sustained it for eons. When the fuel runs out, gravity takes over, causing the star to collapse and trigger a cataclysmic explosion leaving behind a neutron star or black hole. A black hole is gravity taken to the extreme, a mass compressed into a point shrouded by the event horizon, a boundary of no return. Anything crossing this threshold disappears forever. Yet while it devours matter, it leaves behind a powerful legacy, gravity. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, Gravity is the warping of space and time. With the energy of matter converted into the energy of warped space-time, black holes profoundly affect their environment and the universe at large. But what exactly happens when a black hole is formed? It all begins with the end of a massive star's life cycle. All stars shine by burning light elements like hydrogen in their cores, creating intense heat that fuses these elements into heavier ones, like carbon, silicon, and finally, iron. As long as the fuel lasts, the star's outward pressure prevents its massive outer layers from collapsing inward. However, when the fuel runs out, the star starts to shrink under its immense gravity. For massive stars, this collapse triggers a cataclysmic explosion called a supernova. The core of the dead star if it is massive enough, becomes an ultra-dense ember called a neutron star. But for stars even more massive, the story takes a darker turn. The core's weight is enough to squash all the atoms in it down to their nuclei, forming a black hole. This black hole is gravity taken to the extreme, with its mass packed into a point and hidden within an event horizon, the point of no return. Once formed, a black hole is a region of space and time that is both black and empty. It is black because light cannot escape its gravitational pull, but it is empty because the matter that created it has been completely destroyed. The matter's energy has transformed into the energy of warped space-time, leaving behind a vast amount of energy that affects its environment in profound ways. Interestingly, Black holes have a lasting legacy through their gravitational influence on space-time. 
Albert Einstein described gravity not as a mere attractive force between planets and stars, but as a warping of space and time. Massive objects, like planets and orbiting stars, follow the contours of this warped space, much like a ball spinning around a roulette wheel. Astronomers once believed that black holes were rare and exotic entities in the vastness of the universe. However, recent discoveries have revealed a radically different perspective. Surveys of galaxies and black holes stretching deep into the universe have shown that giant black holes lurk at the centers of nearly every large galaxy. What's even more intriguing is that the size of the black hole seems to be directly related to the size of the galaxy. This suggests that black holes and galaxies evolved hand in hand, shaping each other's destiny. To unravel the role black holes played in the evolution of the universe, astronomers have turned to an emerging branch of science. They use supercomputers to simulate cosmic history, including the formation and growth of galaxies and black holes. In the simulated universe, gravity drew vast pockets of gas into dense centers, igniting the first generation of stars. Some of these massive stars eventually exploded in powerful supernovae, leaving behind the first generation of black holes. Cosmologists like Tiziana Di Matteo are leading efforts to recreate this shared history, seeking to understand how black holes and galaxies emerged and grew together. They start with initial conditions of the universe, obtained from observatories like WMAP, which give insights into the universe's early times. By setting the virtual universe in motion, they witness an intricate cosmic web forming, with gravity drawing matter into filaments and knots on the largest scales. As filaments converge and galaxies begin to appear, the matter feeds black holes, allowing them to grow at a high rate. Some black holes form pairs and go into orbit around each other, engaging in a cosmic dance. As these black holes gain mass, gravity pulls them toward the densest regions, where a few grow larger than all the rest. To understand how these chosen few grew so rapidly, scientists study how collisions of black holes send gravity waves racing across the universe, allowing them to merge into one massive black hole. The process of mergers and collisions has shaped the evolution of galaxies like our Milky Way. In a flurry of activity, patches of stars and gas coalesced, drawing still others in, leading to a web of galaxies in various stages of merging and crashing. Amidst this turbulence, black holes play a crucial role, growing to massive sizes and releasing intense energy. One class of objects that has fascinated astronomers for a long time is quasars. These ultra-bright beacons of light from distant galaxies are now linked to the outpouring of energy from the centers of galaxies and their growing black holes. Understanding quasars helps researchers gain insight into the growth and influence of black holes on the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has provided groundbreaking insights into the mysterious world of black holes, exceeding astronomers' expectations. In the past, studying black holes was challenging, as their immense gravitational pull prevented even light from escaping, rendering them invisible. However, JWST's unprecedented power has allowed it to detect a vast array of black holes in the distant universe, revolutionizing our understanding of these enigmatic celestial objects. JWST has been particularly successful in identifying massive black holes, which weigh millions to billions of times the mass of the Sun. The origins of these black holes remain uncertain, but one prevailing theory suggests they may form from collapsing massive stars or gas clouds that attract nearby gas and dust rapidly growing into colossal gravitational maws that reside at the centers of galaxies. Traditionally, astronomers could only observe the brightest black holes using ground-based and space telescopes, especially those relatively close to Earth. JWST, however, 
is uniquely designed to capture light from the distant universe, enabling it to spot black holes situated much farther away, including those previously considered too faint to detect. By measuring the redshift of these black holes, JWST has determined that many of them lie at redshifts between 4 and 6, corresponding to a time when the universe was approximately 1 to 1.5 billion years old. These faint black holes appear as unassuming blobs in JWST images, but are distinct from the surrounding galaxies. Astonishingly, JWST has discovered around 10 times more faint black holes at intermediate redshifts than astronomers had anticipated. The reasons behind this abundance remain a puzzle, sparking further curiosity and investigation among scientists. In addition to these fascinating findings, JWST has identified some of the most distant black holes ever seen. For example, it spotted a black hole at the heart of galaxy GNZ11, which has a redshift of 10.6, suggesting the seeds of black holes formed just 400 million years after the Big Bang. JWST's upcoming observations aim to delve into the intricate details of how superheated gas flows around these ancient black holes. These remarkable discoveries also challenge existing theories about the growth rates of black holes. The data suggests that some black holes, such as the one in GNZ11, might have grown at rates that were previously considered impossible, necessitating a revision of current theoretical models. Despite these incredible findings, astronomers emphasize that JWST's black hole studies are only in their early stages leaving much more to be explored. Scientists are eager to uncover further mysteries hidden within the distant universe and the complex nature of black holes. What are your thoughts on the James Webb Space Telescope's remarkable findings about distant black holes? Share your views and comments, like, subscribe, and watch more content like this here.